What is up everyone? We are back with another reaction video and today's reaction is a special one because it comes as a special request from my amazing Patreon follower, Archimeric? Archimeric? Archimeric. Todd. Let's just go with Todd. Todd is his real name. Uh, Todd is an incredible person who is in my Patreon Discord and he is just such a cool person to interact with and chat with. I love having you there, Todd. Thank you so, so much for all your support. But at the same time, what the hell are you doing to me? You're going to make me react to Leaves from the Vine from the Avatar, The Last Airbender show. My cabbages can't handle this. This is going to be heartbreaking. And then on top of that, it's not the Avatar The Last Airbender version. That would be heartbreaking enough. But no, this is a version by a gentleman who I've come to know is called Colm McGuinness. I know nothing about Colm. I literally have no clue. Um, however, what I can tell is that he's Irish. And this says Irish folk cover. Now, you'll know from my home free reactions that I have a bit of a soft spot for a Southern American accent. What you'll don't know yet is that I have a I have a weakness for an Irish accent. Um, I may turn into a puddle on the floor from this one, especially if the man can sing, because I know nothing about his vocal chops. But if he's singing amazing and having an Irish accent and doing a song that's breaking my heart all at the same time, this could be the video that breaks me. And it's all thanks to Todd. Let's go. All right, so we're going to get right into this video. I can't wait to discover this new artist. Well, not new artist, but new artist for me. So let's see how we go with this one. This is Leaves from the Vine by Colm McGuinness. I love already, just putting it out there, that these seem to be traditional Irish instruments that they're using. I, I'm not sure about that, but that ain't your normal guitar, sitar, banjo, anything that I've seen before, which makes me think this must be an Irish instrument. They've got the, pi the, the flute type thing going in there, which I'm sure you all can tell me in the comments what kind of flute that is. I imagine it's, an, I imagine it's something to do with Irish, but I like when it's kind of authentic like this. I would hate to see like someone putting Irish folk cover and it's them on a guitar. It just wouldn't feel as real. This feels instantly in the first 11 seconds real. going on right now my brain cannot handle i i don't think i've ever heard a voice like his what is this man's voice like i i've had melting bass reactions he's got a deep bassy voice but my brain just went cannot compute cannot understand what you're hearing right now what even i, I was literally sitting here like huh um it's got like, I don't know how I'd put it. It's, I, it's got a grumble to it. It's got a growl to it. And I, I, I like, you wouldn't expect anything else from this song, but I can't wait to see what he does as he goes through this because that's such a different sound than what I was expecting and what I would expect looking at him as well. Also, we love our red, red heads. Red heads represent... <laughs> Soldier boy, comes matching. 
love what they've done with the instrumentation of this. Uh, bringing in the like war drums. That's so cool. I need to go back and listen to the original Avatar Last Airbender version after this because it's been a little, it's been a hot minute. But uh, this this version is so so cool and feels like it's completely its own thing. But hearing those lyrics, I was already like, oh my god, mm. dagger to the heart with this song. You cannot get me more emotional than this song. But he's doing such a cool job of it, and it still feels like it has emotion in there. he sings my mind just goes huh like oh what is this guy i oh my gosh i I can't quite explain what kind of vibes he's giving me um and if i tried to it'd be the weirdest thing because in those exact lines there okay almost no one's gonna understand what i'm talking about here okay (laughs) but there is a movie, terrible movie, great music, average movie, um, called Queen of the Damned, okay? And in it, the vampire becomes a rock star, does concerts, and at the big kind of final concert he sings, he starts singing one of his songs, and he has that kind of a sound to his voice. It's a rock song, but it has that kind of, uh, I'm going to literally see if you can put a clip in of it right here. God, I hope that worked. Um, but that is the same kind of vibe that his, this guy's voice is giving me, only Colm is way better and has such a unique and cool sound that it's just melting my mind. Like, I can't compute with what I'm hearing. Are all of his songs like this? I need to hear more of this guy, man. can't like put it put it into words but it's so cool the way that he's like the the mix he has in the background of him kind of singing behind himself in the higher range he can sing he sounds really good back there like the main voice he's using is it feels very theatrical to me I don't know anything about the technique maybe it's something that's very hard to do but it's it's definitely unique to him but he's got another one in the background singing behind him that just sounds great as well.
God. That that last little like it's been the same thing repeated three times, obviously, but it's been done so well in the fact that it feels like that last one, everything was building to that. You know how like Ed Sheeran builds his songs with a loop station and just plays a little bit, loop, plays a little bit, loop. It felt like that last thing was everything before it was building to that. And it just hit me with so much emotion there. Oh my God. This guy is awesome. I am, I am freaked out by this one because like I said, this is still the whole way through. This has been a voice like I've never heard before. I don't know what you would describe this kind of singing as. If anyone knows, please tell me, but I vibe with it so, so hard and oh my gosh. I loved that so, so much. Everything down to the video was done in a way that's so simplistic, but so, so good and felt so right for the song. Um, I, I didn't, I kept meaning to comment on this every time I paused, but I was so overwhelmed by his voice and the a way that he'd arranged the song. I love the violin so much. Every time the violin came up, I was like, oh, I love the violin. But that's just a whole nother point. But Everything about this was a absolute. There's I I can't function right now. What did I just watch? Ah, oh, I was worried that like I'd go into this and it would be some sad man singing an Irish accent that would just make me bore my eyes out with tears and fall in love all at the same time. And what I got instead was this literal unicorn of music that I have never heard anything quite like that before. Something that was so unique and fresh. I loved that. Um, I still, I still feel the heartbreak right now. I want to go have tea with Uncle Iroh and make sure he's okay. But that was still, oh, that was so, so good. Um, Todd, thank you so, so much for suggesting this. Thank you so much for uh, putting this on my plate because this was, this was huge. This was awesome. I need some time to recover from this one. Um, but yes, thank you so, so much for your suggestion. Thank you for being such an awesome human being. If you guys want to uh, have the opportunity to suggest videos or vote on future videos or just be a part of our Discord with amazing people like Todd and all the rest of my Discord people who have formed the most beautiful community I've ever seen in my life over there. Jump over to the Patreon. You get access to the Discord and voting on the polls for as little as a dollar. And it's honestly such a blast. Uh, if you don't want to do that, it's totally fine. Please like, comment, subscribe on the video. It helps out so much. And super important, please check out the original video in the link below because this guy is mind-boggling, mind-boggling, mind-blowing, mind-freaking. I can't function. Uh, thank you all so, so much for watching tonight's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, all of that good stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye.